Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I am revisiting my gravy jug pour. Um, I did one back in May for the May Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group challenge and came out amazing. I was super, super happy with it. So I thought I'd give it another go. The cool thing about a gravy jug is it pours from the bottom rather than from the top so you have even less knowing as to what's going to come out <laughs> makes me super happy um it's really funny a couple of years ago if you'd said you'd be painting in a style that you have no idea what's going to happen i'd have like no no i can't do that <laughs> but i can do it and it's fun uh, it's amazing what happens when you use the Access Consciousness tools to clear away your points of view. So what I'm going to do, what I've done already, is I've done a negative space pour of house paint mixed with flow troll and water and a bit of PVA glue. And... Um, So that just gives us a basic base of runny paint. Next, I'm going to do a sandwich pour. Now, a sandwich pour, kind of a take on my beer bomb um, technique. Sorry, you can't actually see what I'm doing. My hands are in the way. Let's see. Blah, blah. Nope, not going to do it. Um, this is my homemade gold. Um, sandwich pour is something that seemed to have stemmed after I invented the beer bomb, which is where you drop a... Uh, shot glass of coloured paint into a cup of white paint and then do a flip cup and the sandwich pour it's kind of developed from there and um, so that that was another homemade colour that's my homemade green um, which I created for my giant pour that you guys saw you know, a while ago and this is Prussian blue and all of these paints have silicon in them except for the white uh, and what else can I put in there Actually, I'm going to leave it just at that and then pour some more white through all of that. So we've got about 300 mils of paint on there, which is roughly about enough paint to do this canvas. Check out the cup. Isn't it pretty? All right. So the cool thing about the sandwich pour, see that's what the new lights do. Okay. All right, the sun's come out. I'm gonna turn those lights off and then we won't have this problem. We will have shadow, but we won't have flicker. I can cope with shadow. Flicker's not fun for you or me. All right. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm actually going to just repeat. Oh, look, silicon's coming to the top. I'm going to repeat exactly what I did last time. And that, that is, 
is a travelling spiral pour, um, decreasing into the centre, sort of like a, a snail. Now when you're using the gravy boat but jug, you've got to make sure that the you don't tip so fast that it comes out the top. Which is kind of good in that you've got to stay controlled. Ooh, this is a bit thicker than the last one. And it's making sort of um, what's those things called? Zigzaggy pour. See, I'm tipping too far, and it's starting to come out over the top. So I'm going to slightly overlap the previous ring. And now that I'm in the middle, I'm just going to keep going round and round and round and round. And stop. Ah! Now he looks like a pretty cool snail, just like that. He's even got his little ears, antennae things starting to grow. Um, I like him, and I've only used half the paint. How's it getting any better than that? Okay. So. Doo -doo -doo. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my torch. And just go through and get rid of the air bubbles. Um, see if there's any silicon that wants to rise up. Have it in there. A revolution! It's an uprising! Yay! Any air bubbles in the rest of it? Now I'm not seeing silicon rising at this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll zoom you in and let you see what this looks like now. So this is what it looks like now. Alright. So let's tilt it and oh sorry about the judder. Let's tilt it and see what gets created. Okay. 
Oh, it's just going to slide around on me. Okay. Now, I gave up a long time ago trying to get um, ring pores to go smooth. They never did for me. So, I'm just going to let it all run down. Go where it wants to go. So subtle when you do this. Oh, sorry, the darkness. It's too dark. What's going on? So subtle when you do the sandwich pour. It's awesome. Oh, the lighting today is just being horrendous. What's right about this? I'm not getting. Now, do I tip it all the way or do I leave it? I'm going to leave it. I like it. I like it with that white. Okay, I'm going to retorch. Take my gloves off first. One thing I found, if you're going to wear gloves that have um, powder, in them you need to take them off well away from your painting and wipe your hands before you So why am I torching it? Well, if you leave the air bubbles in there, they're going to dry like holes in your painting. So the more that you can get out before they dry, they can fill themselves up with paint again from what's left over. So... I'm just wondering what this giant lump is over here. And it is actually a lump of something. So I'm going to get a second pointed object. And try and lift it out. There she come. Look at that. Big lump of something. Okie dokie. What have we got? We've got some cells happening over here. It's a very neutral, pleasurable piece of art. I like it. I like it a lot. There's only a touch of that gold coming through. Mostly it's the blue and green. So, how does it get any better than that? That lump is going to bug me. Alright. 
The sunshine is really bugging me. The lighting today is bugging me. I bought brand new lights and they are not doing fun stuff. So let me get you down and show you what this looks like up close. All right. Look at this. How pretty. Soft, gentle, flowing. This one would be great to meditate to if you meditated. It's got nice, gentle, flowing curves. Looks like water, bubbling brook. Just in here is where you can see it does start to see that yellow. All right, well, I'm going to use the rest of that pour in another way. And I will show you that tomorrow. But I'm going to let this one dry and come back to it um, and let you see what it looks like dry really shortly. I adore you all and thank you for joining me. I'll see you in three, two. When? Hello beautiful people, I apologise if the audio has changed, I have changed phones, um, my phone's gone in to have the glass fixed, and this has dried just as we left it, I am so happy with this, it's so pretty, so gentle and soothing, and it is just beautiful. I can't really tell that that's supposed to be gold. But how does it get any better than that? So I love this piece. It's so soothing. Somebody definitely would love to have this in their home or their meditation room or wherever they may be. To give them ease and joy and glory. So if it's you, let me know. Touch base. If you know someone looking to purchase something like this, let them know about it. And how much fun can we all have? I have had fun making this. I have had fun making the next one that will be out tomorrow. And... Uh, how does it get any better? What magic can we create? What else is possible? I'm so pleased with this. So, my sweet, lovely ones, if you were being you, what would you choose? Would you choose to buy into other people's BS? Or would you choose to have fun no matter what you're doing? To make whatever you're doing fun. If you'd love to do that, love to be that, come join us in Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, it is just for acrylic pouring. And what else is possible? What magic can you add to your life and living? How much fun can you have doing that? I adore you and I will see you in the next video. So please subscribe, come play um, and check out what's coming up soon. I adore you. Bye bye.